It's so good. <laughs> So let's take a look at what you can get away with this week. It's pretty amazing. One man arrested after a mass shooting in a South Carolina mall. They have them there. In which 14 people were wounded. He has been released. He's under house arrest and must wear an ankle monitor after the judge said 25 grand bond. Now, there's an investment opportunity I missed out on, ankle monitors. Who knew that they would replace prisons? Maybe Nike or Converse can make a version that comes with one already built in. Thankfully, he has been told not to contact victims of the attack, who range in age from 15 to 75. I guess his apology will have to be done on a Zoom call. And speaking of Zoom, the perp can go to work while under arrest, just like you, Kat. Guess who will be voted Employee of the Month in that office? The HR department must be dreading his yearly review. Meanwhile, in D.C., which stands for duck and cover, it appears dog napping is not a crime-worthy uh, crime. <laughs> a crime-worthy crime, worthy of incarceration. I'm losing my brain. The feds chose not to press charges against four men arrested at an apartment where Pablo, a missing dog, was found. Pablo was taken from his owners at gunpoint, along with firearms and drugs. The four men were released and won't be charged which again will only embolden criminals, not to mention damaging Pablo's self-esteem. <laughs> Poor thing. I guess the dog couldn't fill out the paperwork without opposable thumbs. You have that problem, Charlie. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at the Edna Mahan Correctional Facility, it's a woman's prison, your future mailing address, cat. There, a transgender prisoner knocked up not one, but two female inmates. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> And here I was thinking, here I was thinking a trans woman in a pr women's prison was going to cause problems. No, apparently the inmates welcomed her with open oh. arms. I hear, I hear they're going to have the gender reveal party in the laundry room. And the gift registry is the prison commissary. I already ordered the tins of mackerel. That's what they sell. I checked on the commissary. They sell, they sell. Tins of mackerel oh. and Miss Debbie snack cakes. <laughs> Demetrius Minor, who's in the New Jersey women's prison, confessed to impregnating two inmates, one of whom is serving a life sentence and will give birth in early autumn. Officials say the baby could be released early with good behavior. That was a joke. <laughs> Just in case anybody missed it. By the way, the father, who is also the mother, but not the birthing person, <laughs> is currently behind bars for stabbing their foster parent to death. God, I hate to see what crimes Demetrius Major is committing, because his name's Minor. <laughs> so a murderer and a lifer are expecting. If their kid's future was any bleaker, he'd be a Democrat in the House come this November. This baby has the genes of two criminals. He or she will be the first baby that, when born, to shiv the delivery doctor who slaps it on the ass. <laughs> And yes, the media uses the proper woke pronoun, there, to describe the murderer who knocked up the ladies. Because not doing so would be the real crime, I think. Now, we used to worry about prisoners sneaking in a file and a birthday cake, not a penis. <laughs> but I admire this scam. Think about how terrified these woke suckers are. They're consumed over pronouns without questioning whether, you know, placing a biological male murderer in a woman's prison is a good plan. <laughs> but the idiocy is all connected through wokeness. Apparently, the facility changed its transgender policy last year, so it now allows transgendered women who haven't yet undergone sex reassignment to come in, meaning that an inmate with a penis can shower among inmates with vaginas. And no, that's not a loofah. And you wonder why women are getting knocked up in prison. The officials say it's a job hazard, so what can you do? Well, first, maybe cancel the drink specials on ladies' night and stop housing biological males with females. Oh, that's a start. Get them out of the women's prisons and into the college swimming pools where they belong. <laughs> so that's crime today. <laughs> but let's just hope more criminals don't figure out this loophole. <gasps> oh, help! Help! I'm being mugged! All right, all right, mugged. break it up, break it up. That's it, pal. You're going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You're going to lady jail. <laughs> oh. I didn't know Emily was bald. <laughs> bald man. Yeah, she can carry it, though. For now, anyway. <laughs>
But, you know, here in New York, I keep being told things are going to improve, right? But a corpse was found at the subway stop Sunday morning. That's the stop I used to take to Fox every day. And he wasn't the worst smelling person in the car. Yeah. Down the block from me, two men got shot in a dispute in front of a pizza joint. Don't ever make fun of anyone ordering a slice with pineapple on it. Mm. Maybe it's me, but I keep feeling like adults have gone AWOL. Ever since we've criminalized law and order, all that's left are two groups, the oppressed and their victims. It's the allegedly oppressed who victimize but then use their status as oppressed as a shield. The lunatics have changed the language and changed the realities of life without letting the rest of us know. So we're living in a lab experiment right now where the left tests out their horrifying theories on us. Before, we operated on incentives and disincentives, but now progressives have disconnected punishment from crime, and we're left with a civilization at the mercy of the criminally insane. But anyway, happy Monday. <laughs> is it too soon to start drinking? No. Let's welcome tonight's is. guest. He's an advocate for spaying and neutering pets, and some of our panelists. Host of Dr. Drew After Dark and the daily streaming show, as Dr. Drew at Dr. Drew TV. I, I bet it's Dr. Drew. How'd you know? I don't know. Boy, if she talked any faster, the audience would start square dancing. Outnumbered co-host Emily Campagno. He's my favorite, Charlie, after a horse. <laughs> Washington Times opinion editor and Fox News contributor, Charlie Hurts. <laughs> well, Jesus turned water into wine, and she turned wine into showing up to work hungover. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat <laughs> Two. <laughs> Dr. Drew, it's been months. It's been too long. Yes, I was worried about you for a while. I'm there. all good. I thought maybe you had transitioned, and then we're in a women's prison. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a, it would be an interesting sort of uh, move to make, wouldn't it? Well, what do you think about this? I mean, you're a doctor, and there are experts who are, like, ACLU sued to get transgendered uh, women into the prison knowing this would happen. I, I don't think they believe this would happen. I mean, look, <laughs> people have sexual relations in prison. It's usually women with women. Now we've added women with a penis, and yeah. the problem is the liability of pregnancy. Mm. My question is, what's wrong with your profession, Emily? What is wrong with it? <laughs> because I, I feel like the, the sort of the idea they have is that all cr crime is mental health or something? Mm -hmm. And then it, to put somebody with mental health problem in a prison is the wrong thing? All, let me hear, as, a, as somebody who worked in a psychiatric hospital for 35 years, let me, give me the camera. All crime is not mental health. It is not. There are criminals out there. You sound and, sane while you're doing this, and, by the way. I know. We're crazy, right? Yes. Crazy that I sound sane. <laughs> uh, and there are people that are crazy but need containment. They need it. It's what they need. Right. And you can deal with that with some sort of facility, but not the streets and not ankle bracelets. That's I, not going to work. I was thinking about this the other day, and it, it's very strange that the idea that somehow it's better to have the mentally ill on the streets of New York, where there are loud noises, and cars beeping, and crowds. That seems to me the worst place to be mentally ill and homeless. I would think something bucolic, where they used to have sanitariums, you know, out in the hills, people in white coats. Remember that when you were a kid? They had the <laughs> butterfly net. Yeah. That's how I would solve problems. <laughs> Guys in white coats with butterfly nets. Um, I know there wasn't a question in there. <laughs> I, I agree with you. Uh, you. And Dr. Drew, to your, to your point, yeah, I agree with you. I think it's the extreme segment of those attorneys, so the, the extreme portion of defense attorneys, the extreme portion of prosecutors in name who actually aren't prosecuting these crimes as they should be, right? So Do they think it's a mental health problem? And that, therefore, and I'm all for mental health problems being treated in a hospital, but they're not doing that either. No. Right. What is their plan? Not, what, I mean, I, look, I don't know. I don't speak for them. I promise. I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't Why are you here, Emily? Get for all Jeez, attorneys. God, <laughs> I feel like I'm on the stand. Um, but what I, I just wanted to say that, you, so an example of that, when you talked about, you know, the, the, the oppressors using their shield. So the ACLU, yes, sued to have transgenders um, be in the same prison as, as biological women. And among others, the Correctional Officers Union staunchly 
argued against it, right? They called it. They said, we are going, we predict pregnancies. We predict sure. a whole host of obviously health issues. This guy impregnated yep. two. STDs. And the I'm fact sure. that the judge, however, ruled in their favor. There's multiple now transgenders in there. What I don't understand is that there's a there's an element of public safety of protecting our citizens that somehow escaped the judge in that decision, right? That when he said, well, yep, I guess in the interest of fairness, we got to let them in. But yeah. what about the coda to that? What about, however, coda. in the interest of public safety of the prison population of this poor woman, by the way, that one who, one of the ones that got pregnant, mm -hmm. her judge at sentencing said, I've never seen a more depraved or senseless act of violence. If she ever gets out, she will, she will commit something like insane violence, whatever. Right. So she was so raped? She's, she wasn't. She yeah. maintains adamantly she was not by this. Uh, yeah, she the, said she was into it. The okay. point. The <laughs> point is that this kind of person, regardless if it was a physical rape, I'm sure there's some semblance of taking advantage. But that's who we're dealing with. You think she has full mental capacity yeah. to make that decision? Now she's going to be a mom in prison. Mm. I mean, it, it, all of this is backwards, especially the non-prosecution for the dog, by the way. And that's also why everyone should have a Doberman instead of these little tiny stupid dogs. I have a little <laughs> tiny stupid dog. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I want to get. I want to, Charlie. I'd like to put you under house arrest because your hair is murdering my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is, anybody lays a finger on my dog, mm -hmm. there's, they're not going to jail. No, they're going six they're, feet under they, they, yeah, in exactly. my little party house. So, they're not, there's, <laughs> there will be no body found. Yes. Well. We'll feed them to the pigs. No, but it is kind of amazing when you, when you uh, it, like this whole concept of consequences yeah. doesn't occur to these people. And, you know, obviously the country is sort of politically divided, and, and when it's politically divided, we tend to try to, you know, a rational response is to try to understand what the other people, assume right. the other people are making rational, intelligent uh, arguments, and you try to understand what they're saying. But this is no zone for that. No. It's like you, 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 let, you let biological males into female prisons. What do you think is going to happen? Exactly. If I got convicted of murder, I'd be like... I'm, uh, you know, I would do it in yeah. a second. Yes, I would identify immediately. Who wants to go to a main, men's prison? Yeah, I would also identify as a really old lady, so I could get <laughs> other medications and things. <laughs> I would identify with like, so I need some medical marijuana for my glaucoma. Uh, I probably need some Percocets for my chronic herniated discs. I would identify every illness before I get arrested, and then have all of them. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think no, I, and I think it would work. I think I think you could pull that off. I think I could pull, they a would lot build of, a special prison just for you I want and my, all of your unicorn friends. Exactly, that live inside my head. You know, cat. I think the audience knows that you own a cat. Yeah. Jeans. Uh, would it hurt you to know that somebody could steal your cat oh, and boy. not go to jail, Ooh. even though your cat is almost forty years old? <laughs> <laughs> Barely is barely Not breathing. Yeah, no, he's he has the inhaler that helps him breathe. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm serious. So, but uh, uh, yeah, is that just? I mean, uh, the, the, that, I guess your cat isn't property. No, so the cat, yeah. I mean, he would. I wouldn't be worried about him because he would just claw someone's eyes out. Yeah, it's not a nice. They steal your dog. Yeah, they steal the dog, and then Sheens. Whenever Sheens actually, Sheens is really up on all this stuff, <laughs> and Sheens, whenever he hears another story about a dog being stolen, he's like, I wish it would be. Carl. Oh, and then I have to say, Cheese, you can't say that. Oh. He's right there. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's also, I, that's why I can never certainly go and take the dog out. It would not be safe for me to do so. So that's why Cam needs to do it every time. Well, you know, you live in a neighborhood where it's, <laughs> there is a lot of issues going on. And has it gotten better? No, I mean, it's, it's, we had, we were on a walk the other day and some homeless guy was like going up to Carl, like crazy guy out of his mind. And, mm. and I was Do you have like, a dog walker? Yeah, yeah have a dog kill me's off this week. <laughs> <laughs> Something about hair, it's hair replacement. But to not even yeah. like go to jail, that I don't understand that. You like obviously, if somebody were to steal my dog at gunpoint, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's a you know. Yeah, why can't uh, you press you know, charges? That'd be like kind of a bad but, day for me. But I think the owner of the dog, all, I mean, when you they, they stole the dog plus drugs and weapons, <laughs> I probably should have should have glossed over that. And and that's one of only two uh, uh, dogs that were dog napped in D.C. over the weekend. Really? Yeah. There was like, another one. You say? Yeah. An that's double. That's a hundred percent increase. <laughs> it went from one to two. No, I think no, but I startling. I, no, I think no, I think it's I think it's part of a, a it is larger. actually part of a larger trend. Yeah, and yeah. And they're getting money for it. No, there's and a they, lot of they're dog so napping. stupid they don't understand. Most of these dogs are chipped anyway. So the first time so you sell the dog for drugs, right? And then the new owner takes the dog to the vet and they 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 they, they check the chip the mm. you know the chip. There right. you go. Well, now you know. <laughs>
Carve the chip out, <laughs> is what you're saying. You make me sick to my stomach. That's what I said. I'm pro. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.